Hello, I'm DeathSeeker512, and in today's video, I will be showing you how I'm going to have my new Eclipse project set up. So, there's a couple links that you're going to need to get, and one of them. Wait, give me, give me a minute. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I was an idiot one day, and through the command line. Yep, that's this. I managed to delete the entire coding series. However, this allows me to change a few things that would be for the better as opposed to how it has already been. So what I'm going to do is have it set up kind of how Pahimar has his setup. Which if you don't know who Pahimar is, he is the equivalent exchange character dude the guy who coded equivalent exchange mostly I don't know. anyways so what you're gonna have to get is still the six seven eight version of minecraft forge oh uh, well, but whenever I followed him I had an issue yeah I, I don't want to talk about it anyway so yeah get still download the source and then download MCP which the download is here I will also um actually I will just be back in a second okay so what I did is I made a file called links and in the file is going to be the location and I'll throw that in the description but do really go on to their website well yeah anyways so what you're going to let me just okay as you can see here uh, no you can't see here <laughs> as you can see here I have already made a folder called MCP oh actually no let me go in here so I made a folder called mods because this is where all the mods are going to be now if you notice here there's already a mod here it's a mod I'm working on with a few other people SciGuy1121, Ellie Creeper a couple people that you have probably seen before and so this is all the mod from github and then and here is the MCP directory now So what you're going to need to do is, let me just open that new tab. In your downloads folder, if you have those things downloaded, you might as well create a folder somewhere. It doesn't matter where. And then inside the folder, you're going to create another folder and call this one uh, MCP. Create. And then in the downloads, you are going to take MCP, open uh, the archive. I'm just going to minimize that for a second. And Minecraft Forge, where the. And so and then go back into the mods. And in the MCP directory, you're going to take MCP and extract it there. And then as soon as it gets done, you can close that. And then open up Minecraft Forge and extract it on top of that. And then as usual, go into the Forge directory and run install.sh if you are in a Unix-based system. And install.cmd if you are in a Windows system. And then once that gets done, you will have your MCP directory. Now, I've already did all of that so I'm not gonna like go through and do it again I'm just that's all you have to do is from there so now let me go back into my mods directory yay okay so in my MCP directory I've already got everything built and uh, source minecraft as you can see here everything's here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Eclipse folder and I'm gonna right click and copy the clips folder which should have this inside of it anyway so copy this 
and then open up into the parent and paste that there. Now I'm only doing this because I did the way how Padmore did and I, for some reason I had a bunch of errors that I could not fix so this is the way I found that actually worked for me. So now I'm going to open up Eclipse and it's going to on the other screen as well. Yeah, so Eclipse is loading, even though you can't see. Here, I'll just wiggle my mouse so that we have something to look at. Follow the mouse, yay. Okay, so now this came up, and you want to point Eclipse into the your mods directory and then into the Eclipse directory, and then you want to hit OK. And then let Eclipse load. Once the Eclipse is up, I will be back. Now you're probably asking, why didn't he just go ahead and install Eclipse? Or, no, not Eclipse, uh, install Forge. Well, that's because of one reason or another. Um, I already had it done, and, you know, it takes like an hour for me because of my really slow computer. Anyway, it's up, and it says there's one wording. Don't worry, there's going to be several to follow after. So now that this is up, right click on Minecraft, properties, oh and you should probably like have paused it, <laughs> anyways, no not properties, yes properties, and resource and then go to linked resources and there are, we're going to have to change this MCP location, so edit. And what we're going to do is, after the two dots, we're going to put another forward slash, and then MCP. And hit OK. And, yeah, that, that's the only thing you really had to change in there. So now if we hit OK, and then right click on Minecraft, and tell it to refresh. I'll be back once it's done. I don't know why I paused it. It was done. It's going to be building the workspace. Now it's giving us 10 errors because, and they're all unknown. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll be back whenever it's done building. Okay, so it's taking a while. Until then, I will going through the preferences to change everything back uh, to how I like it. So in appearance you can change the theme to whatever. I'm using the dark theme and don't ask to get this theme because technically what I actually did is not include the CSS file by accident. However, what it did do is it made me, it made it, it made Eclipse use my GTK theme. Now if you're wondering why I didn't use GTK is, well, as you can see as you can see here, uh, there's a lot of things that aren't exactly how they should be. Anyways, so a pr uh, plugin I downloaded and installed for Eclipse, okay, uh, through the Eclipse Marketplace, which is also a plugin, is the color theme. Now, in the color theme, it gives you a lot of different options to choose from. Now, what I like to use is the same as my text editor, which is Sublime 2. And. I'm going to hit apply here. You can also import themes and so on. Now what I'm going to go, uh, well, so let me scroll up, scroll down. In Java, I'm going to go into code style and formatter. And I will edit Eclipse. And of course, you can't have it as the default name because it won't let you export it or save it. So, I am going to put custom there. Now, what I'm going to do now is instead of using tabs, because tabs display different on every person's computer, depending on the operating system or computer, really. However, spaces do not. So, I'll just keep that all the same. And then... Uh, I'm going to indent statements that are within the 
See, you can see how it indented those, the case state and the default. Yeah. So then you, you can mess around with several different things. I'm going to change line wrapping and put a zero at the end. That way it doesn't wrap lines because that's really annoying for me. Uh, there aren't really two coders who have this. Well, there are because of uh, whatever. Um, everybody likes their source looking a little bit different. Okay, whatever. And so just make this how you like it. And braces I'll just leave as. And hit OK. And then clean up. What clean up is, is like after it's done doing whatever and stuff. Edit. <laughs> I'm also going to call this instead of the eclipse thingy. It's going to be custom and I'm moving a ring. Okay, so this what this does is you can have it to get rid of like all these trailing white spaces. So like if there aren't really needed, it will get rid of them. See? Plus it makes those look nice. And Okay, so so <laughs> wow, never mind. Uh, so you can have it to where it <laughs> okay formats the source code and then you can have it remove the trailing white spaces which are the white spaces at the end that aren't well spaces at the end and then what you can do is whatever and then you can have it organize the imports so yeah, I'll just do that. Eh, uh, whatever. I'll just keep as that. And I will hit the supply button right here. And okay. And okay. Now you're probably wondering why the source isn't over here. Well, since I have to restart Eclipse anyway, I am just going to rerun it. And I'll be back once it's up. Or actually, I'm going to go to what the rest of this tutorial is kind of about. So, okay, again, still not really a tutorial. What I'm going to be doing is creating a GitHub workspace for you guys. So I've already created the the blue the f work the thingy get the github project over at github if you don't know how to use github then it gives you command uh, things you can do at the beginning uh, i'll be going over a couple of those um that's and in the creation thing you can do create new repo now if you want to have it to where people can like look at it you want to have it to where it's public uh, otherwise, if you want to just have specific people working on it or able to do it, uh, then you can have it as private. Now, as you can as you can already, you jerk. As you can already see here, I've already created this. Now. I will show you how to, oh my god, it, sorry, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, and then open up my terminal, you have to have GitHub in, installed in order to use their commands, and I'll get out the Eclipse directory, and now I'm back in my mods directory, so, that's annoying, <laughs> oh, and also if you notice over here, now the source file should be here, which it is, yay, anyways, so now that I'm in the MCP directory, no, the mods directory, uh, I'm going to use git clone and then 
the github project dot get and then it clones it and then if you go into it it's there nano r star and you can obviously see this is where it was at now if you add oh crap i forgot to put uh, w <laughs> okay so now if i add a new line like test it, it, we obviously change the file right so now if we do get status it says uh modified readme.md okay how about get status and then the short version which has a dot a, dash s it says modified which is what the m is and then readme.md so now what we can do is get add dot and then get commit dash m and then a message for the commit so changed change the readme and then says okay so now we're inserting a line into one file and then what we can do here is git and then push and this will upload it to github now if we go over to github and reload the web page and scroll down It says it's just now been changed, yet it hasn't been here. <laughs> Test. What are you doing here? <laughs> Test. Fantastic. Do I have to do that? No, I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do a test. Oh my gosh. Now, get add, get commit, and get push. Those are really going to be your main commands that you use. Is Add, oh, also, if you say you deleted a file, you can do git and then remove or rm. So git rm and then the file. So now we go into here. It's changed. This. Anyways, <laughs> now that's huge. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, well. And so, yeah. And then, so, git add, git commit, and git push. Now, let's save someone's, uh, change something up here well what you can do then well let me actually edit it and then save it and it adds stuff at the end so then if I do get status it's well then get pull and then master oh god I put it in E again <laughs> okay Okay, get pull, and then it adds the um, dash wr star, 
it adds stuff at the end. So yeah. So the ones you really want to be worried about is get push, get pull, get commit, get add. Mainly. <laughs> However, if you want to say you forked something, uh, the fork tutorials work very well on that, so I'm not going to explain that. And so, yes. Let's get on to actually creating the mod. Now, I'm going to create a new Java project and I will call it well uh, since I'm working on another mod I'll do that too so I'm going to call it community mod 1 because that's the name of it and I will hit next and then delete the source Link additional sources. No, I won't cancel. I'll just do it this way. What? Ah. Libraries, add jars, Minecraft, lib, and then shift here. And then you want to get rid of this. The one that has tar.gz, since it says, oh, it's not really a jar. And then an ordered expiration, that's fine. Now you can say, oh, it's it has to require Minecraft before it can be built. Okay. And then if we had order and export, let's throw Minecraft. Let's check mark Minecraft and throw it up to the top. Just because, you know, build it first and then then we can build you is pretty much what we're saying there now the reason why okay and then delete the source folder hit ok then I will be adding a new one right click new folder and I will name the folder common and I will add a new folder and I will call it resources and hit finish now in common I will right click on it and hit properties resource filter no cancel right click what was it Okay, um, that's what I did wrong. <laughs> Never mind. Delete you and delete you. Right click, add new, sorry, folder. And then you advanced link to alternate location my bad I'm so sorry for that browse and then I will go into my mod directory community mod and then common and hit OK and then I will make that bigger so I can hit finish now if you can see here it's got community mod client and then common as well I'm going to minimize that for now and then I will right click on this again new folder and then advanced link to alternate location browse community mod and resources and hit OK and again make this big so I can hit finish and right click on both of these and then build path use a source folder and right click on this build path use a source folder and then it will build the workspace now it's got an issue of the problem yeah 
So now it's giving me an error. So if it ever gives you an error and it's, oh, I forgot to do that, do whatever. Um, I can scroll down to, well, yeah, open up this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to move the outline to below here. If I can find the, there. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to bring this down and then. Okay, so then what I'm going to do here is Did I not add it to this? I did. But something I'm missing is in the live or the LWJG. No, ah, that's why I was having issues earlier anyways. So then Ben, natives, and that's where everything's at. Okay. So I will be creating a new folder called Jars Ben Native. Okay, so new folder advanced link to alternate location. Well, actually. Oh, okay, so parent folder has to be there. And browse. Then mods, community mod, no. Sorry, Minecraft. Oh, sorry, Eclipse. And then Minecraft. And then Ben. And then I don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm. Ah, crap. So, right click, properties, resource. Oh, okay. So, MCP lock and then jars. Oh, okay. That's simple. Okay. So, I'm going to create a new folder. I don't know why I didn't pause it through that. Um, create a new folder. I'm going to call it jars. And then advanced link to alternate location variables, eclipse. Not Eclipse, what? Oh. New MCP underscore LOC. Folder is going to be the MCP directory, which is here. Okay. 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 And then slash jars. Now, if you're wondering what I just did, I created the MCP location variable through here, new, and then you saw what I did, and then I selected it to the Eclipse location, and I did that again. <laughs> and then once that's done, you can do slash jars, jars. Actually, it says it's going to overlap another resource. So I will actually end up clicking this fixed project setup. Okay. Now in reference libraries, it should be there, which it is. And reference libraries, it's there. So is LW. Okay, so I'm going to right click on reference libraries. I'm going to import. No, I'm not. Huh, I wonder how you can, how you can use the. 
right click properties resource resource linked resources uh, Whatever. Jars, bin, and then LWJGL util jar. And hit OK. And that should uh, keep any issues from arising. And so now that you see me do this with the community mod, I'm going to be doing it with the other mod. So, eh, okay. So I'm going to make a directory. Oh, and the reason why I'm doing this as well for the GitHub thing is this will allow it to where you guys can just view the source code. The master one, the master location, I guess, will be... The master branch will be the current even... Sorry, so the current modification of the tutorial so say if you just finished watching the tutorials all the source code from all of the previous tutorials are going to be there but wait i said i lost everything well i did it before i deleted the entire folder i managed to upload a zip file that included the source so i'm thankful i did that so i'm going to make a directory and I'm going to probably, and then uh, re resources. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is actually that's really all I had to do. Oh no, it's not. So I'm going to make a new Java project. Oh, and you're probably also wondering why I'm doing it this way. Well, let me open up. Still don't get why it's in shells. So, in Thunar, which is my file manager, if I go into mods, you can see, okay, so this is a mod, and this is a mod. This is where Eclipse is at, and this is where MCP is at. Okay, so, what? Well, here is... Anyways, so in here is where all the MCP stuff is at. So what this will allow uh, me to do is... Sorry if you, my dog is in the recording. Anyway, I'll be back in a second. And now I'm back. So every time that there's a Minecraft update, you'd have to like delete everything in here after you moved all your source code. And then redo everything. But what this allows you to do is it doesn't make it to where you have to move your source code everywhere um i forgot the last thing he did <laughs> whatever like it's important though so i'm going to name this t u t o r i l hit finish and let no i can't <laughs> So then in tutorial, I will delete this source folder. I'll do new. Folder. And then inside of the tutorial, I'll link it to an alternate location. I will browse into my mods. And then forge tutorial and then common okay and the folder name is going to be common and I'm going to hit finish then I will create a new folder and it's going to be linked to an alternate location and that location will be in here and then resources and then finish oh crap I can't believe I actually, yeah. Okay. And then right click, build path, 
use a source folder, right click, build path, use a source folder, right click, properties, projects, add, and I will just add both of those. Yeah. And actually, I don't know if I have to do those, but. down up and there we go so now I'm gonna have to add jars from minecraft and those are going to be j and put no lwjgl jars and then in the library files everything but the one that has tar.gz so control that one and then control those two and then I'm going to hit OK. And. OK. So that creates the reference libraries. And now I'm going to open up my downloads folder. The tab downloads is down here. And in tutorial. I'm going to go to mods for tutorial. And so as you see here, I did create. Yeah, I did create those. So in source mods tutorial mod. I will actually. Yeah. Copy. All of that in the client. And I'll move all of this into the common folder. And then the textures are going to go into resources. But wait, I'm not done. I'm going to go into resources. I'm going to create a folder. And I will do mods. Put that in there. Go into mods. I'm going to create another one. Create folder. And then tutorial mod, I guess, create. And uh, that's all I'm going to be doing. Which, obviously, since I did tutorial mod, I'm going to have to change a couple of things in here. So now I'm going to create a new folder tutorial mod and put everything into it. Oh, crap. And now everything's in this tutorial mod folder. Now this really cleans up everything. A lot. <laughs> and so now I've got to make all the edits. Now it automatically loaded it up into Eclipse, which is just dandy. I will create a new class. And here's where the coding part of it is. And I will call it referent. Tut reference and what this is really going to do is put like and no not in client smarty pants oh my gosh so now you're probably wondering what's supposed to be in here well and I like the way how they did this so that's why I'm going to incorporate it in their common folder and then in reference they have it to where all of their well things that they would be referencing is in here as static final classes mod texture ID okay that way they don't have to like redo everything so static final string and then mod ID equals tutorial public static 
final string and what this is going to stand for is texture location and I'm going to set that equal to to tort T O R I L tutorial mod because that's where all of them all of those textures are at now oh wait yeah so let me uh, minimize this common mod yeah reference okay yeah that's pretty much how it was So yeah, I'll change to the texture lo location. Now, in client proxy, what we are gonna do is Oh well what Oh oh okay. So because everything's changed, you have I'm gonna have to go through and change everything. And I'm gonna remove it as unused, control shift O, which then imports it to more tutorial mod stuff. This I'm gonna have to change in all of these. Which I'm gonna do on camera. Just cause someone said don't change something without everybody watching, because then it's hard to follow. And people get confused. You know who you are. <laughs> Change. And so. Again, change. Oh, wow, what? Item armor implements a texture provider. Armor texture provider. Oh, I thought I got rid of that. Huh. So. Implements nothing. Register. Oh. That's because it's a little bit old. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, this dot... Item icon equals icon red register. Okay, and then reference dot mod texture ID. Did I put ID on it? Really? Wrong mod. Cause I changed it to dot mod ID. There we go. <laughs> then save that. Then save that. What? Dot texture location control shift O to import it what's the issue oh well it's right here oh <laughs> hate it when it doesn't whenever I hate you <laughs> okay so then the world in the world generator uh, change the package to here control shift F whatever control S close tutorial now in tutorial what I'm going to do is change it from at instance to, to uh, tutorial then I'll do reference 
dot mod ID. Crap. Yeah. Tut reference dot mod ID. And then in the mod ID, you can actually change it to There. And then change it there. Today is five. Two. <laughs> and increase that by one. That by two. Five point two two. And that's all I really have to change. Here, right? Yeah, okay. So that's all I had to change here. So I'm going to save it, close it. Oh, wait. Okay, so in here they changed it from Oh my gosh. To uh okay. Control shift O control click. That way it opens it up. They changed it to item uh, dot get armor texture. So then if we go into item and in Minecraft source net Minecraft item item Oh my gosh, I had to have passed it because we're getting extra stuff. There it is. And then get armor texture is down here. And find, close you. So then copy all of this. Copy from there, just control C, and then in tut armor, change it here with control V and control shift F. And so that's how you get the armor to work here. Oh my gosh. Get rid of you. What? Nothing. Okay. And so, tutorial item sword. Change you. Register. I mean, I guess I do like how the fact that they actually did change this. Because it's now it's no longer the icon index, and I forgot to change that in there. Um, uh, let's see here. This dot item icon, and let me go back into here and see if I changed it to. Slash. How about I do this? Plus, plus, and then. That. Texture location. 
less textures, slash armor, then armor file, and PNG, and save. Uh, close those two. Yeah, so if ever you update my, the Forge version and there is a change, read the source. And and save it there. Register, then icon, register icon, close you, close you, open you, <laughs> all right, so, oh, I think I caught that. Okay, that needs to be a forward slash there. Okay. <sighs> Control Shift F to format it. Change the package declaration. Change this to register. Um, yeah. Wait, what? You want me to talk through all of this? It's not really talked about. If I talk, I go slower. And, and it makes the video way longer than what it needs to be. Honestly, there should be this above, above everything, because it is overriding stuff. So yeah, looks like, uh, okay, uh, I'll just add the at override tags and you guys can view the source uh, on GitHub actually. Uh, that way, you know, I don't have to actually show you guys me coming back through all of those again and making sure that those are there. But since these are already open, But plus, this will also allow you to know if they change this at all. <laughs> so save all of those. <sighs> close them. Close, close, close. Oh my gosh. I'll also go through and reformat everything. Tut item is going to have that above it see now now it's throwing an error here because update icons isn't coming from any sir so now if I change to register and then forgot to change the package location and top block <laughs> control shift F the format right there <laughs> change package declaration scroll down here enter control V 
Enter control V. Enter control V. Oh crap. Okay. So And so this is the end of this video. If it helped you at all, give it a like. If it didn't, uh, then there's always the dislike button. But please, that that's not nice. Um, now just to make sure I do actually throw this up. Well, actually, if I get to get status dash s, it says, well, there's a lot of things in these two folders that have been modified. Um. So now I do add dot and then do that command again. It says, oh, okay, so we are going to be adding all of these, including all these PNGs. Okay, that's cool. And now get commit dash M. Add it all sources and uh, pictures. Actually, I'm going to shorten that. Oh crap! <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, uh, PNGs. PNG files. There we go. And then get. Push. Now on GitHub, if I go to code, you see the comments in here, and it said just add a tutorial mod, and all of these are in here. Now you can also view the source directly up here, so like if I open up common proxy, you see it here. And to tutorial armor, and so on. So, again, if you like this video, give it a like. If it helped you at all, give it a like. If you want to see more by me, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day, or night, or whatever time it is. You know, it really just depends on what time you're watching this video. Thank you, and goodbye.